guys, welcome to the next segment of 7 Minutes with Seema. I think some of you know I do not have the world's most open back, so I'm one of those uh, yogis who is pretty t bound um, in my torso. So one of my goals for 2014 is to open my back. So I've been working hollow backs and a lot more back bends. So this is going to be a segment that shows you sort of what I'm working on in my own progressions. So let's go ahead and get started. This is not something, by the way, that you would want to do totally um, cool. So make sure you do one of my other segments first. Probably my warm-up would be a great one, and my mobility for upper back would be a great one to do before this. Um, so let's get started. Go ahead and um, come into downward facing dog. Pedal your feet. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. And then from here, we're going to roll forward to a plank. Exhale, slowly lower down to the ground. From here, we're going to inhale, lift the head and the chest. And then exhale, lower it back down. We're going to take our hands a little bit wider. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back down. Take your hands even wider. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, back down. From here, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your head, your chest, and your legs coming into locust pose. Keep your neck nice and long by looking out on the floor in front of you, two to three feet. Try to lift your left leg higher, right leg higher, lift your head and chest to meet, hold for five, four, three, two, and one, lower down. So don't be afraid to not lift higher than I am. Again, like I said, back bends are very difficult for me. From here, go ahead and bend your knees. Grab hold of your ankles. If Shalabhasana, the pose we just did, felt like it was easy, or you could do more. And then we're going to kick it back, rolling into bow pose, opening up. Flex the feet. Again, let the lift come from your heart, not your head. Which is also a good mantra, right, when you're thinking about your heart opening, is to let it come from your heart, not your head. So just allowing the heart to really lift you here. And then lower it down. Take your cheek to the opposite side. Hmm. Pushing yourself up onto all fours. And then grab a block. I probably should have mentioned that to you in the very beginning. But you'll forgive me, right? And then go ahead and lay down onto your backs. You're going to take your block and place it all the way down into your personal area with this being the width. From here, make sure your heels are close enough into your sit bones that your fingertips can graze the backs of your heels. You're going to inhale and lift your hips off the ground and squeeze your block. And then as you exhale and lower down, keep squeezing the block and lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. You're going to squeeze so much in your inner thighs and your, and your bottom, your glutes, that the, your butt won't touch the ground. And then inhale, lift back up. Keep squeezing the block. And then lower down. Okay. So you can stay right here. This is actually a great thing to do when you're having low back pain. This is like the equivalent of back traction. So a lot of times if you go to a chiropractor and they give you a strength exercise, this is a very similar exercise that you would do to strengthen your low back and really start to pull that low back back out so it's nice and long. Fantastic. So you can continue doing that as long as you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place the block on the floor next to us or behind us. From here, Inhale, lift your hips off the ground, roll your shoulders underneath you, imagine a string on your belly button, lift it straight up toward the ceiling, and keep trying to bring your interlaced hands down to the ground. And then imagine that you're bringing your shins towards your head. So there's a lot of activity that happens in the legs. So a lot of times we think back, 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 but the legs are a very active process of these heart openers, right? And if you want to get very esoteric and take that to off the mat lessons. It's like you can't love someone or you can't open your heart if you don't know where you stand. Right? So having that firm foundation in yourself and in your poses is essential for heart opening. So let's do that again. This time we're going to reach for our ankles if you can. Inhale, lift your hips up. Perhaps grab your ankles. Now if you're grabbing your ankles and your heels lift off, go ahead and let go of the, of the ankle grab, right? Because you want to be able to keep your feet flat. Because I just explained that you have to know where you stand. Right, to really get into these heart openers. So there are some variations, of course, where you would lift your heels off the ground, but just as we're building the base here, um, it's very good to have that nice flat foundation. 
and then lower down. Okay, if you feel like you can go deeper, we're going to play with going into our full wheel. So for that, you're going to take your hands next to your ears, and your fingertips are pointing down towards your shoulders. If you have really tight shoulders, what's going to happen is your elbows are going to want to splay out. But what I want you to think about, just as if you were doing um, a front squat and your elbows stay lifted, you're going to push your elbows straight back and over your head. Okay, so this is going to help you really stay with a lot of integrity in the shoulders, right? So as I come, up, come back, of course my elbows are going to want to splay out because it would, it would seemingly give more room here, but I'm going to push them straight back. So from here, I'm going to come up and push the elbows straight back, right? And then once here, you can walk the feet in, shape shift a little bit. So again, a lot of yogis have a very open, open, open back. I look more like a coffee table, which is okay. I really like coffee, so it serves me for now. But like I said, it's a work in progress. And then you're going to come down and relax. So we're going to do two more, right? I would suggest if you're new to these heart openers that you stay doing this variation. If you want to play with a harder variation, you can lift one leg, put the foot down the other, and then we're going to lift an arm and an arm. So I'm going to demo that for you. So here we go. So lifting up again. Again, you're going to push your elbows straight back. Okay. Inhale, lift a leg, you can place it down, lift the other leg, place it down, lift an arm, place it down, lift your other arm, and place it down. And then hold for a few breaths, just opening back it up, and then take it down. So this last one, we're going to do wheel push-ups. Um, this builds strength. It's a great way to sort of get that feeling of coming up and down. And really important thing is you can watch your elbows and how they move. So go ahead and take your hands back down next to your ears. Inhale, press up. Exhale with control. Crown the head down. Inhale, push up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We're going to do two more. Last one right here. And then chin into your chest, lower down, let your knees kind of drop in together, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, and there you have it. So from here, you're already in a great position, I can let you in Shavasana, so close your eyes, let your palms up to the ceiling. Anyways, thanks for checking in guys, have a good one, bye!